Imagine hurtling through space closer to the moon than any human has ever been before yet not landing. That's Apollo 10 for you. In the heart of the American space race, the Apollo program was born, a beacon of human ambition and technological prowess. Among its many missions, Apollo 10 stands out. It was the fourth manned mission of the illustrious program. But its significance lies not in the number but in its objective. Apollo 10 was a dress rehearsal, a grand performance before the final act. It was to simulate all the procedures and challenges of a moon landing without the actual landing. Picture this, a spacecraft swooping within nine miles of the lunar surface, so close yet so far away from making history. Apollo 10 was more than just a mission. It was a testament to human tenacity and the quest for knowledge. It was the culmination of years of hard work, preparing the ground for what was to come. It was the final check before the grand event, the moon landing. Apollo 10 was indeed the critical stepping stone that paved the way for that one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. On May 18, 1969, the world watched as Apollo 10 launched from Kennedy Space Center. The roar of the Saturn V rocket reverberated across the globe as it propelled astronauts Thomas P. Stafford, John W. Young and Eugene A. Cernan on a mission not to land on the moon but to skim its surface. The journey to lunar orbit was a spectacle of human ingenuity and courage. Apollo 10 was essentially a full dress rehearsal for the historic Apollo 11 mission. It was tasked with testing all the components and procedures just short of actually landing on the moon. The commander of the mission, Thomas P. Stafford, a seasoned astronaut, was at the helm. John W. Young, the command module pilot, was responsible for orbiting the moon in the command module Charlie Brown, while Stafford and Eugene A. Cernan, the lunar module pilot, descended towards the moon in the lunar module affectionately named Snoopy. Snoopy, detached from Charlie Brown, and descended to just 8.4 nautical miles from the moon's surface. It was the closest any human had been to the moon at the time. As they descended, they tested the lunar module systems and radar, and captured detailed images and data about the lunar surface. After a nail-biting eight hours, Snoopy ascended, redocked with the command module, and the crew prepared for their journey back to Earth. The successful docking in lunar orbit was a critical milestone demonstrating that a moon landing was indeed possible. Apollo 10 returned to Earth on May 26, 1969, having successfully completed its mission, setting the stage for the historic Apollo 11. Just two months after Apollo 10, history was made. Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. The Apollo 11 mission, a thrilling chapter in human history, was about to unfold. In the early hours of July 16, 1969, Apollo 11, with Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins aboard, was launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The world watched with bated breath as the spacecraft traveled through the vast expanse of space, heading towards the moon. Four days later on July 20th, the lunar module named Eagle separated from the command module and began its descent. The descent was not without its challenges. With fuel running low and alarms sounding, Armstrong's exceptional piloting skills were put to the test, but with calm and precision, he expertly guided the lunar module to a safe landing on the moon's soil. The world held its breath again as Armstrong finally uttered the words, Houston, tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. The most iconic moment of the Apollo 11 mission, and perhaps all of human history, came shortly after the landing. As Armstrong descended the ladder of the lunar module, he paused. He then stepped onto the moon's surface, becoming the first human to ever set foot on another celestial body. Armstrong's famous words echoed through the ages. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Armstrong and Aldrin spent about two and a half hours outside the lunar module collecting samples, conducting experiments, and capturing the experience on camera. The world watched in awe as the impossible became reality. After their lunar exploration, they ascended in the lunar module, rejoined Collins in the command module in lunar orbit, and began their triumphant journey back to Earth. They splashed down in the Pacific Ocean on July 24th, marking the successful completion of the Apollo 11 mission. Neil Armstrong, with his famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, marked a new era of space exploration. The Apollo 11 mission didn't just bring back samples from the moon, it brought back a renewed sense of possibility, a belief that humans could reach for the stars and touch them. It was a testament to human courage, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. 